Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. <laughs> Today I wanted to share an insight that a uh, colleague told me about the other day. It's about the concept of the sleep balloon, a balloon that you fill up during the day to allow you to sleep well at night. So the other day, uh, three or four days ago, I was in clinic and I had seen a patient and I went to an office I shared with a colleague of mine and I told him that um, I had a little bit of a hard time explaining uh, how your sleep drive works. That is like that um, hunger for sleep that you develop over the course of the day that allows you to sleep at night. And he said, uh, well, when that happens to me, I usually uh, talk about the sleep balloon. And I said, what's that? I never heard that one before. This is what he told me. So imagine that uh, when you wake up in the morning, your sleep balloon is empty. As you um, stay awake during the course of the day, it expands and expands and expands. And you know, 15 or 16 hours after you uh, woke up, then it may be full. And you're ready to sleep, and as you sleep, it you know, gently deflates over the course of the night and, and it's empty again in the morning. So that you know you fill that sleep balloon with you know sleep potential, you know a hunger for sleep, a need for sleep, and then you empty it at night. Now uh, he he also told me that you know what you can tell patients is if you uh, are uh, inflating the balloon as you're staying awake during the day, but then you take a nap, then you kind of deflate it, you let out some of that sleep potential, and you may not be able to sleep well at night. Uh, when he talked about it, I was like, yeah, that's a really good analogy and uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, I hope it makes sense. If not, leave a comment or email me at insomniainsight at gmail.com and I hope to uh, have you back here very soon. Bye-bye.